I've got two things in my hands. One is a folded up piece of paper that I've written some notes on, which seems kind of boring really, but the other one is a golf ball, and it may, it may just be the golf ball that you need to be playing and you're not. You may not have even heard of it before. Let's get into this video. Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. And today, as always, once again, I hope to do just that. Now I wrote this list down after watching a video recently from My Golf Spy. You've probably heard of them. They've got a website where they do all sorts of reviews and they have a YouTube channel. Go give that channel some love if you haven't already. Now, the video that I watched was on the top five golf balls to gain distance. Some of us need a few extra yards off of the tee and they've developed these three lists for fast, medium, and slower swing speeds for the top five golf balls in each category to gain distance. The three categories are broken down like this. The fast swing speed is listed as 105 and above. The mid-range swing speed, which is where I fall and where most of us fall, is between 90 and 105 miles an hour. And then sub 90, 89 miles an hour and below is what they call the slower swing speeds. Since I fall into the middle category, I took the number one golf ball from their list out on course and I'll share the results with you at the end. But let's start off with the fastest swing speeds first. I've got two big shockers across this whole list for you. We're going to start off at the top of the list here, the fastest swing speeds. Remember that's 105 and above. This list really didn't hold any surprises for me. Number one was the Titleist Pro V1 X left dash. Number two, Titleist Tour Speed. Number three, was the Bridgestone Tour BRX, number four, Titleist Pro V1, and number five, the Shrixon Z-Star. There's really no surprises there. These are touted as some of the best golf balls on the market. They're also some of the most expensive golf balls on the market. A lot of those golf balls for people like me who have an average to you know below average or slightly above average swing speed, maybe we shouldn't be playing those golf balls. But this takes me to the slowest swing speeds, which gives us our first surprise. We're going to skip down to the bottom of the list and go to the sub 90 club head speed category. And number one, once again, this is your first big surprise, is the Titleist Pro V1X left dash. You think that the difference between a lot of these golf balls is going to be more or less the spin rate and the construction, whether it's a two piece, a three piece, a four piece. You would think with that big of a gap in club head speed that the golf balls that you would want to play to get the most distance would be vastly different. But there it is in black and white. Number two was the Titleist AVX. Three was the Vice Pro Plus. Four, the Bridgestone Tour BX, which, you know, is kind of like the first Bridgestone. Then number five, again, the Titleist Tour Speed, another golf ball from the top of the food chain, the highest swing speed list. I mean, it's confusing to me a little bit, but there it is. I mean, the results don't lie. The math doesn't lie. My golf spot came up with uh, a surprise there, but to get to the big surprise, let's get to the mid-range, 90 to 105 miles an hour swing speed. Mid-range in this test is defined as 90 to 105 miles an hour. That's where my swing speed falls, and I'm betting that that's where most of your swing speeds fall as well. So we really need to pay attention to this category because if you need a little bit more distance or consistency off the tee, these five golf balls should probably go on your list to try. I'll tell you this much. I track everything with my golf pad app, and I was able to gain seven yards off the tee on average with this golf ball. You're going to say big deal. You're going to say you're not going to notice anything. You probably won't even see the difference on course. It's not going to knock any strokes off your handicap. Who cares? Seven yards. But if you look a little bit closer and you look at the graphs that I collected from the data on my golf pad app, you can see that my worst shots were around 210 to 215 and my best shots were at around the 265, 270 range. With this golf ball that I played, I brought the back end up. My worst shots were only around 235 instead of 215. So I wasn't losing so much distance off the tee. And the difference between 235 and 265 is only about 30 yards. That's much better than having a 60 yard gap, which is highly unpredictable off the tee. It gives you more confidence. It allows you to play shots better and execute. That was the big difference that I noticed in this golf ball. So what was that golf ball? We're gonna go in backwards order. Number five, the fifth longest distance golf ball in the category of 90 to 105 miles an hour was the Vice Pro. Number four, 
the Callaway Chrome Soft XLS. Number three, the Bridgestone BXS. Number two, TaylorMade Tour Response. First time on the list. And number one, the MaxFly Tour CG. This golf ball felt great around the greens. I was able to get good spin and check when I needed it on short game shots. Off the putter, I was happy with it. I didn't notice that it felt like a rock. I'm not going to say that it was the greatest feeling golf ball on the greens in the world, but I was able to putt and chip very well with it. It's a great value. It's durable. It's a lot cheaper than the Pro V1s and all of these other expensive brands. It's readily available at Dick's. A lot of times they run a two for one special where you can get two for like 60 bucks. That's only $30 a dozen as opposed to $48 and $50 a dozen. It just goes on and on. It's a really great golf ball. Guys, I don't get paid by MaxFly to, to push these golf balls. I have no vested interest. This is not a sponsored video. This is my own personal findings. I do love this golf ball. What have you got to lose? Go give it a shot. Let me know down in the comments. Is it good? Is it bad? Are you indifferent? Leave me a thumbs up, please, down below if you got something out of this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I post every week, and I'll see you in the next video.